Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. I am Dave, my first year medical student here in the Philippines. So for today's video, we will continue where we left off from the last video, which is yung fundamental operations and problem solving of the 2019 NMAT practice set. So before we start, I would just like to say thank you to Ate Dan, who gave me the copy of the 2019 practice set. She's a blockmate of mine, and currently she's doing NMAT series as well as I do. So during ECQ, she's taking this opportunity to self-study. She's posting videos how to self-study, plan your schedule on studying, and other materials, and other NMAT tips as well. Please do check her channel, so I will link it down below so you can check her out. Eating Habits of English Sample between 2001 and 2003 and its relation to mortality rate. Number 26, what is the best graphical presentation of the table shown above? So we were given, to 26, we are given a bar, a pie, a flowchart, and then a line graph. Based on the table na ibinigay sa atin above, makikita mo kagad na each row is not equal to 100% and each column is not correlated with each other. Kaya, immediately, makakuha mo na, ma maririmove mo yung pie chart. Next is the bar graph. Usually, bar graphs are used for specific numbers. And then, line for line graph, usually, Ginagamit natin yung line graph kapag meron tayong flow from point A to point D or point A to point B, point B to point C or kung may correlation siya, halimbawa, angat ba siya after this point, after this point, tataas ba or ano. So, remove natin yung line graph. So, what is left with this flow chart? Number 27. Which of the following shows that while there was an increase in daily portions of food, fruit and vegetable consumed. The mortality rate did not change. So again, did not change. So, check natin kaagad based on sa table, makikita mo kaagad yung dalawang magkatabi na hindi nag-change which is cancer na 5 to less than 7 and then 7 and above. So even though nag-move siya pataas, hindi nag-change yung risk ng mortality rate natin. So the answer dito is letter B. 27 is B which is cancer 7 plus. So the data from the American Colleges of Obstetrician and Gynecologists in 2003 on hysterectomy procedures that were performed from 1998 to 2010 is shown in the graph below. 28. The above graph shows the percentage performed of vaginal hysterectomy decreases. Which of the following is the best estimate for the percentage decrease from 1998 to 2010? So, vaginal hysterectomy, which is yung circle. So, ang dito is 1998 to 2010. So, ang estimate natin dito is roughly, yung 1998 is roughly 25%, roughly 19%, yung 2010. So, ano ba yung 10% ng 25%? Siyempre, 2.5%. Percent. Yung 20% nun is 5%. Ano ba yung difference ng 19 and 25? Ito ay 6%. So, maglalaro lang yung range natin from 10% to 20% decrease. So, ngayon, wala na kaagad si letter C, wala na rin si letter D. Siyempre, of course, wala na rin si letter B. Ang choice na lang natin is letter A. Kasi siya yung pasok sa range natin na 10 to 20% yung difference from 25% of the vaginal hysterectomy pababa ng 19% ng buong um, hysterectomy procedures. So, 29. Which of the following statements is or are correct? The median percentage of the abdominal surgery is in year 2004. So, check natin yung abdominal surgery which is yung diamond. So, 1998 around mga 63% and then yung 2010 is roughly around mga 58% and makikita naman natin na 
by 2007 or 2008, dun lang siya bumaba ng 60. So, automatic, yung first statement na median daw siya, yung 2004, ng buong abdominal hysterectomy, is false. So, second statement, in 2006, yung vaginal and laparoscopic are equal. So, makikita natin, pag zinumpa natin yan, makikita mo yung difference dito na hindi talaga siya magkapareho. So, the second statement is also false. So, balik tayo dun sa question, which of the following statements are correct? Letter D. Neither of statements are correct. Wow, CPA. Grabe naman siya. Wow, memories. Okay. So, 30. On whole, how many examinees from University of Santo Tomas took the licensure exam on the whole? So, yung nag-take daw ng exam is 382, 388, and then 362. Base lang dun sa ones natin, makukuha na natin kagad yung sagot, which is 2, 8, and 2. So, ang sagot dito is 12 kagad. Kahit hindi ko na i-add yan, Iisa lang naman yung may 2 sa choices, which is letter A. So, A ang sagot dito sa 30. 31. Which of the following correctly shows the descending order of HEIs by passing percentage in 2017? So, in 2017 daw, passing percentage. So, 2017, this is 41 out of 51. So, this is roughly, masasabi nating 80%. Next is 101 over 109. Roughly 90%. 92%. And then, next is 69 over 69. Automatic, hindi na yan roughly. 100% passing yan. And then, for the University of Santo Tomas, it's 333 over 362. So, ang 362, 10% niya. So, lalabas dito is 90%. Ang pagkakasunod nito, decreasing order, is 3, 2, 4, and then 1. This is letter B. O, diba? Madali lang siya. So, next. The graph below shows the best-selling car companies In the Philippines from 2014 to 2016. So, sa first question, 32. If Toyota and Mitsubishi are the top two best-selling car companies, which of the following arrangements shows the next top selling car companies down to the least during the given years? So, ang tinatanong sa atin ngayon is, sino yung mga sumusunod sa kanila? So, decreasing order ulit. So, check kagad natin yung choices. Sabi sa choices, lahat ng ano, lahat ng choices sabi, ang pinakamababa si Nissan. Ang next sa kanya is Honda which is 5. 55. Okay, automatic matatanggal mo na kagad si letter D. Next is Isuzu which is 3. Dito yan, 3, 3 and then 2. So automatic tanggal mo na si letter C. Ngayon, ang matitira na lang sa atin is either Ford yung una or Hyundai yung una. Check natin dito. Ang Ford ay may 33,688, 25,372, and then 20,341. So, sa kabila naman, makikita natin 33,695, 22,058, 23,000, 'Pag so, pag pinag-add natin yung mga values na to, makikita natin na mas mataas talaga. Now, 33. Which of the following statements can be inferred from the graph? All of the given car companies consistently increase in unit sales. So, based nga dun sa chinek natin kanina, yung Hyundai hindi siya nag-increase. So, B. In 2016, the increase in unit sales of a given car companies was twice as much as that of the increase in 2015 and 2014. Again, sa Hyundai tayo mag-check, which is hindi nga siya nag-increase ng 2015, which is bumaba yung value niya. 
kaya mali agad yung letter B. So letter C, in 2016, the unit sales of Hyundai increased by more than 50% of its unit sales in 2015. So, check natin. Ang 50% ng 22,000 is 11,000 and then ang in-increase niya is 11,000. Naging 33,000 siya which is tama. So, yung D, tingnan natin just to check. Toyota had the highest percent increase in 2016. In 2016, remember ah, 50% yung tinaas ni Hyundai. Ang sabi dito, si Toyota daw yung pinakamataas na, na inangat. So based dito, 124,000. This is just 30% increase. So, hindi ka agad. So ang sagot dito is letter C. Consumption of different types of drinks by US adults. So milk, non-diet soda, and fruit drinks. So between 1994 and 1998, if the adults consume half of the amount of fruit drinks that they normally consume in a year, what would it be? between 1994 and 1998, which is this one. So, fruit drinks is 2.5 per day. Makita yan, ounce per day. So, per day. So, half ng 2.5 is 1.25 per day. Now, tapos, ang gagawin natin, yun daw yung kukonsume nila for a whole year. So, ilan daw yung kakalabasan nun in total? So, 1.25 times 365 days. Five, one, four. So, dalawa yung decimal point. So, it is 456.25 ounce per year. So, may ginakagal natin sagot. This is letter C. So, 35. In the span of 1999 to 2002, how many ounce of non-diet soda did the adults drink in total? So, sa buong span ng 1999 to 2002. So, ang tinatanong dito is non-diet soda. So, makikita mo dito is 10. So, 10 times 4 times 365. So this is 40, 40 times 365, okay, so 40 times 365 is just like 4 times 3,650. So 3,650 times 2, the dito is 7,300, so plus 7,300. This is 14,600 ounce, so this is letter D. Next, 36. Which of the following statements about the consumption of drinks is generally false? So A. Between 1999 and 2002, adults consumed 10 ounces of non-diet per day. So 1999, 10 ounces, non-diet. Yes. So, okay. Tama. Fruit drinks have the same amount of intake throughout the years. Okay, makikita nyo naman kagad. <laughs> Hindi kagad to. So, B yung sagot. Because there is an increasing rate ng fruit drinks from 1977 hanggang 2006. Okay, this is our last one. Which is 37. Which of the following countries showed a consistent decrease in PC shipments? So, check natin ha. Si Thailand, 297, 266. Okay, automatic, Thailand. Automatic, may kita natin that letter A, Thailand, is not the answer. Dahil sa second quarter, nag-decrease siya. And then sa third quarter, nag-increase siya. B, Vietnam. So, may kita kagad natin from 193, naging 213. There's an increase. And then 213, naging 352. There's another increase. Pero ang tinatanong kasi dito is a consistent decrease in PC shipments. So, this is not the answer. Letter C. Indonesia. Indonesia is from 814, naging 739, and then naging 519. Okay. So, consistent siya nag-decrease. And then D. Malaysia. 
317, naging 315, and then naging 293. Pareho siya nag-decrease. Now, here's the tricky part. Kasi both C and D is both consistent decrease. And according sa answer key, the answer here is letter D. So, for letter C, which is Indonesia, from 814, naging 739, and then naging 590. So, this is automatic around a 10% decrease. And then, this one is around 20% decrease. For Malaysia, it's 317, 315, and then 293. So, here, this is less than 1% decrease. And then, this one is less than 10% decrease. Now, hindi ko alam kung paano nag-come up sila na Malaysia yung sagot. So, again, I guess may mali na naman dun sa table. I do not know. But, yun. Sabi kasi sa key, it's D. Pero, if I were if I were to be asked kung ano yung magiging sagot, I think it's letter C. Dapat. So, let's continue with number 38. Which of the following graphs will make a data easier to convey? Again, so A, this is a flow. B, is a pie. C, is a stem and leaf. And then D, is a time series. So, automatic may kita mo na hagad yung sagot dito. Pero, syempre, explain ko pa rin sa inyo kung ano yung differences ng mga yon. So, first, flow chart. So, flow chart, pag sabi kasi yung flow chart, there is a step 1, step 2, step 3, and step 4. So, based dun sa nakita natin, wala namang step 1, step 2, and step 3. So, hindi ka agad. A. So, pi, it is not part of a whole. So, each column is not part of a whole. So, hindi ka agad pi. Stem and leaf, this is used to segregate um, statistical samples or yung mga data na nakuha. So, what is left is time series. So, bakit time series? Kasi we are talking here about time. So, first quarter, ito yung nangyaring shipments. Sa second quarter, ito yung nangyaring shipments. Sa third quarter, ito yung nangyaring shipments. So, time series is the best answer for number 38. So, 39. Which of the following countries has the least increase in PC shipments during the third quarter of 2014? Least increase. So, so letter A, which is the Philippines. Check natin. Philippines. It's from 212. Naging 279. So, there is roughly a 20% increase. 22%. 30% increase. Yeah, I think it's 30% increase. Is Singapore, which is 181, naging 198. So from 181 to 198, so this is a 10% increase. And then Thailand of 266, naging 341. So, automatic, almost 50% increase to. No, parang ang taas ng estimation ko. This is around 40% increase. And then D is Vietnam. Vietnam is from 213, naging 352. So, dito natin masasabi na ito talaga yung around 60% increase. So, ang tiyatanong dito is least increase, which is B. And then, for the last number, which of the following statements is or are correct regarding the P PC shipments in Southeast Asia? So, the shipments of the PC of Indonesia and Malaysia, so Indonesia down, and Malaysia fell ng 20, and then fell ng 7%. So, for their third quarter, so si Indonesia bumagsak daw ng 20%. So, 
So, ang 20% nito is roughly 74 times 2. Lumalabas na 148 yung binaba. Yes. So, tama na 148 yung binagsak ng Indonesia. And then, for Malaysia, 7% daw, which is 315. So, less than, dapat less than 31,000 yung ibabagsak niya, which is roughly around 18,000 lang ba yung binagsak? 7 plus 15 is 22, so 22%. No, it's 22,000 pala. So, 315, 93, so 7, 15, 22,000 yung binaba. So, yeah, it's 7% yung binagsak. So, statement 1 is correct. So, next is, next statement is, In Singapore and Vietnam, the PC shipments appear to continuously upswing until the third quarter. So, for our second statement, In Singapore and Vietnam, the PC shipments appear to be continuously upswing until the third quarter by 9% and 65% respectively. So, Singapore is from... 181 naging 198 so this is 18% ay 18,000 almost 18,000 increase so tama naman na 9% yung in-increase nya and then for Vietnam which is 213 to 352 so there is an increase of 65% so ang difference nito is around to 140 so yes there is a 65 percent increase so for this third statement the pc shipments of the philippines was raised 25 percent after the second quarter so the philippines increased the in second quarter by 25 percent so 12 212 and then again 279 so this is not a 70 a 25% increase. If 21,000 is 10%. So ang 20% niya is 42. Okay, ang difference ng 279. But the difference of 279 and 212 is 67. So okay, hindi hindi pa siya 20. 25% ng Neto is 5%, this is half ng 21, which is 10.5 plus 42. So, lalabas dito is 52.5, so which is hindi pa siya 67. So, kapag trinerity natin dito, this is, this will be around 63, close enough to 67. So this is around roughly 30% increase, not 25. So the third statement is wrong. So this answer dito is letter B. Only the first and the second are true. So that's it. That's the last part of our 2019 and math quantitative reasoning series. And I hope you enjoyed studying with me and if you have other questions or other materials that you want me to answer or to give you answers or other areas of the NMAT that I can provide answers and solutions that will help you to study during this enhanced community quarantine just comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more content so again see you next time